Hey guys, uh, I just uh, gonna throw a video out here. I uh, back in the garage again. I guess you can see I uh, had trouble with the camera when we were on the line. Uh, the battery was dead. I didn't charge it, and uh, my own fault, and didn't get a uh, video of uh, what was all happening. It's kind of I don't like doing things like that or whatever, but uh, that's what happens. And, you know how it is with all that stuff you're carrying and forgetting and all that other stuff. But anyways, uh, uh, I picked up a couple coyotes here. I'll let you guys see them. So uh, both males. This one here, he's 40. I guess I should stand back a little. He's about 45 pounds. He's a big one. They're starting now. I was talking about the rut. They're uh, they're getting close and they're running the running them trails really hard. And uh, you can see from the big mature one's color difference. He's a beautiful <clears throat> furred animal, and he's uh, actually he's nice in the hackles here. He's really deep, eh? And uh, then you come to a, I would say this is here is a couple year old, and how much shinier and looking they are, <clears throat> and a little bit of red crotch on them, not too bad. But you come to these big males, and uh, there's a lot of red crotch on them, eh? So. But uh, beautiful furred. Oh man, he's gorgeous, gorgeous uh, uh, male coyote. And uh, but anyways, I want to tell you guys kind of uh, what the uh, what it is. Uh, I was mentioning to you guys about uh, my buddy there coming on the trap line with me, and he's experienced with coyotes. That's one of his main things. He's got twenty some baits out. He's got over two hundred power rams does a lot of uh, ki catching coyotes and uh, he averaged over 100 every year but uh, and what he did when he went on the line with me he gave me a, <clears throat> a lot of uh, a lot of instruction on uh, what uh, do's and don'ts and stuff and uh, I'll just give you a little hint that he gave me and it it definitely upped the production just like boom right uh, what he told me is, is a lot of guys run bait stations and this is what I was doing I'm keeping my uh, my snares too close to the baits and uh, and when they're too close to the baits, what happens is, is the coyotes they'll come to the bait, but they just they don't come right up to the bait, and that's <clears throat> that's the problem, right? They'll circle the bait, they'll do whatever they want, but they never come right up to the bait and eat. I don't know what it is with the coyotes, why they don't. The odd one that's uh, maybe sick or hungry, he comes in, he'll get caught. Uh, the bigger ones, they uh, hang off to the side and you go 50 yards back of your bait you start making some uh, half moon circles and boom you'll start seeing trails and that's exactly what he taught me and that's both of these were picked up off of that circumstances they they're 50 yards 80 yards off of the bait there's trails everywhere from the coyotes so uh so that's what we did i uh we went out uh like that big male he was caught <clears throat> just behind uh, the house and uh, uh up on my bait station behind my yard and uh and he, you know, he that was the first place we went, and he says, "Look at here, here's a, here's a trail, and and bingo, there's a, that's where we put down a power ram, and and there you go, there's a coyote, right? So uh, it just shows you experience and how it can go. But I thought I'd show that, share that tip with you guys and and stuff. So uh, and uh, you know, for uh, you know, guys that uh, the bait stations play out after a while." go 50 yards back go 80 yards back and all of a sudden you'll start seeing trails again and lo and behold there's the coyotes so and anyways uh, thanks for watching guys again and uh, I uh, one other thing I wanted to mention was uh, uh, it's uh, Sask hunting not Sask hunter uh, with the website uh, or the YouTube channel I was telling you about with the where he tans coyotes and all the other stuff so just uh, wanted to apologize to him for that because I uh, made that mistake so if you guys check out his channel it's sask hunting so okay and i corrected it on my last videos there a while ago so okay so yeah thanks for watching and uh i guess get these guys thought out and uh start skinning here so okay take care